let's jump to it. Greetings and salutations, dailies and mental children. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Once again, I'm your host, the great and mighty Mr. Perez, and yes, I know Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Complete Edition came out already. I already I bought it. Make sure I could get it before it, it gets delisted again. But yeah, in the meantime, let's get back to Yakuza. It's been a while since I last played this. Sweet. Let's go. Hey. Yeah. Hm. I'll show you in. You ready? Okay. Show us in already. Uh, I don't see any guards. That's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the Serial Clan. Well, there is a gate. You set us up. We never grant entry to anyone from other factions. That gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal. Then, we take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. You'll never reach him. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I'll, I'll tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. People better put us in their wills for this. Bring it! So no This. I got you. Ora, hey! Let's go. Let's do this. Hmm. You're weak. You're in it now. Extra fight from that? Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. I'm up. Oh, 
Takes care of that. Kidding me? How are we supposed to get through? Well, standing around won't solve anything. Let's find another way around. Let's see. Maybe this door. Um, wait, that was an elevator. <laughs> that was not. Let's try this one. Hmm? Hey, this door's open. Doesn't look like they want to let us through. But it's time to give him hell again. What? You guys stupid? Let's just run. Damn, the other door's locked. This is a dead end. This should hold it. Good call. Open up, assholes! Then we need to improvise. Son of a... Oh, a window. What the fuck? Where are they? I don't know where they went. The door's locked. And unlock the damn thing before they get away. That's clever. They bought it. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, you're good now, Black. Coast is clear. Oh, he actually hit in the box. Wow. Now what? Listen. Should we try the corridor that connects above us? Maybe we can get to the chairman's room by going up the left side. Yeah, kind of roundabout, but it'll work. Seems like the Serio clan members unlocked the doors for us too. Hold on. Hold up. Security might be tighter that way. Let's see if we can enter from that door over there first. a deep voice. Oh, she just got a teaser. Cool. You want to fight? <laughs> that was cool. Let's go. Take your Cool. 
Got knocked okay. down. All right. I Ambush, if you ask me. Yeah, I bet those idiots wanted to hog the credit for taking out the intruder. Should I open it? Got it. I can use this key to open up the safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Yeah, but this that does sound like a good idea. Each one. Okay, let me see. I got a helmet though. Nice old construction helmet. Alright. Let's go to the pistol now. I'm okay, I guess. Interesting. Actually, maybe something behind this door. Take it, alright. That's nice. See, now that was good, thank you. So let's go up these stairs. Keep going up. And there's an enemy. Hey, gamers. Let's battle this on! Okay. Don't get caught. Let's go. go. Cool. Come on, I'll pound 
send you into the floor myself. Oh man, look at his scars. And his tiny eyes. You're going down. Yeah. Ooh, you want to go? Get serious. Come on. Let's go. Get making the first move and just see how it goes. Cool. Yeah. Take your best shot. Watch this. Let's go. Come yep. on. Let's try this thing. All right. Which way are we going? <laughs> Behind us! You're never gonna make it to the chairman! <laughs> Holy shit! Hang on! I'll get you out of this! Don't give up! Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Thought it was a goner. You said it. Does this mean we have to climb back up? Seems like it. Let's look for another way. Play that door. Close. Alright. the store. I've had enough of you rat bastards scurrying around. Time to get exterminated. Oh, that's what you think. She need to be not a loser. Cool. The guy's a fucking no, boss. Take your best shot. You want to fight? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Go get cocky. Okay. Watch this. You're in it now. You are no that. Oh. That was good ball. Yes. Let's go. Cool. Get alive. Let's do it. Check this out. Is there a hook? Yeah. Kristoze. That's it. Ikuze. Oh, I'm up. I got this. Thanks. Yeah. Don't get cocky. Okay. Let's go. Weak. Cool. Take your best yeah. shot. Yeah. That's better. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's how you do it. Next time. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> hmm? What's this key go to? Hmm. Maybe that iron door we saw along the corridor? Right. 
Let's check it out. We might find a way up. sort of blueprint for this facility. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. There's a ladder icon at the edge here. Looks like it connects with the room where we found the key, but I don't remember seeing a door. Maybe it's hidden. This building's a goddamn fortress, so a hidden passage wouldn't even surprise me. Yeah. That's gotta be it. Let's hurry back to that room and check it out. Should I open it? Sweet! Oh boy, shoes! I know where those are going. Actually... Samurai armor. Hmm. Hmm. No doors. That's weird. The blueprint pointed right here. Oh. Well, check this out. It's a button. You're right. Tasca, press it. Uh, sure. Here goes. Seriously? Seriously, it worked. <laughs> Alright, now we can go up. Should I open it? Sweet! A help ring, okay. Back again, huh? So this is where we are. Wait, we, we've been here already? Should I open it? Got it! Work overalls. Yeah, give him some work overalls. And I'll give... No, I keep that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this place looks safe enough. Why don't we take a breather? Ready when you are.
serious kill. Such a pain in the ass. We just want to see the chairman out of the way. <clears throat> you made it this far, and that's far enough. Oh damn, this suit's got rolled up sleeves. <laughs> You're still standing after all that? <laughs> Long time no see. This time it'll be different. <laughs> Three of us together are unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> then it's unstoppable trio against unstoppable trio. Come on, Nanba, Adachi san. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with him. Go. 
Ah, how the likes of you learn to fight like that? Uh, who are you? I'm what me. employees from your place of business, Odohime Land? Uh, you're from our own soap land? We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. You've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you. We're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. Oh, a chill, man. Boss! Totska, what's happening here? Uh, there was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? 
This guy had a strange looking bill on him. I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. <laughs> Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Comey Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. Oh, no problem. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. <laughs> it's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business. But I have no need or desire for your opinion. What? He's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totska. I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize. Sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh yeah? What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself and she approved it! That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway... I'm done playing teacher. Totska! <laughs> Sir! 
Put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. No. No. Chairman! Chairman! Kasuka. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Oh, he's gonna try to kill me, is he? Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. Mm. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that? You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Hmm. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa. Yep. Although when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of surreal, to say the least. So, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Harakawa. I'll remember that. Guess we should head back to the Soapland. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. Well, okay.
Are you Nanohamu Koda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation, wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Uh, hold up. What did you just say? They said... he'll die without the surgery. Mm. Uh, just double-checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um... At the meeting, we... Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. But now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but... Does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First timer, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa. Let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again, and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. <gasps> oh, really? Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. <laughs> Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives' hunches. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. Hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Uh, yes. You don't 
don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Well, all right. Let's see. Oh, I can change that. Oh, well, next time then. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Let's go. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the cafe. I'm gonna run over by the car and I'm just fine. Hell yeah! Not bad! <laughs> Not bad! A slug, eh? Check this out! 
Sup? Oh, cool. Hot water. Still has some severe popping, it seems. Kaskasan, I'm already on my end. Did you get the hot water? Yeah. Yeah, I got it right here. Hot water and towels. Perfect. Let's go. Hey, are you alright? Is there anything we can do to. Huh? huh? Oh no. Not this some Kiwami too. Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the? Uh... <laughs> you're the fuckers with the baby formula. That's the dude from Penny What the hell's going on? Oh. Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. <laughs> Not so fast, Chief. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! You're going down. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Uh, I'm listening. Well, actually. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, 
fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Oh. These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Uh, yes, sir. Is this patriarch? You know, I was thinking I saw everything beyond because I had to offer. Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. But all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby is a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Oh. Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pad. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty frickin' exhausting. Oh... Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No need to be shy. <laughs> sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, what say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper? Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, 
the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got a new pound mate. Sweet. Hey, boss. We're back. It got pretty crazy back there. But you know what? What a way to end a chapter. Chapter 5 Lu Ming Man. Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She gets she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Oh. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! No, no, Hassan. You should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. 
But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we don't know you. No, you don't. I'm Saeko. Alright, so, is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. <laughs> You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soapland? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Otohime land are probably gonna shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? You're sisters, aren't you? What, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently, he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. That's correct. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Wow. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? What? 
You have your employees doing that? Basically. The home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her, even now. But at this point, the secret's kinda out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, oh, hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey what, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hey. Hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why did they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then, why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Laoma, Laoma. Laoma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. Y yeah. But I do. Really? Laoma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. And they might have been calling the Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. And trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Laoma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. Do you mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijincho knows who Laoma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals. You name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah. He takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep. And milks them whenever he wants. 
police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. Don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Psycho. Thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years. Only for things to end up like this. <sighs> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did. Not even once. I mean... I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nonomiya. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. Frustrating, because it's like Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, crass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <sighs> do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> Okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so. That settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party.
Sup? Adachi san, do you know who Mapuchi's hideout is? Liu Mains is still mafia, so just like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just pass the name on an office. On top of that, Mapuchi is a cautious bastard. Word is he doesn't even take meetings. Hmm. So, we don't have any leads. <sighs> no. I wouldn't say that. You know Restaurant Row, just north of here? That's where the Liu Ming are known to hang out. Hmm? Like a little Chinatown? It's more like... It's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. Mabuchi's gotta be hiding somewhere along Restaurant Row. Then let's head over there and ask around. Yeah! We're starting to get hungry anyway. Hey. Don't tell me we're going down there to grab food. Why not? Dashi san said this is the real Chinatown, so it's gotta be good. <sighs> You'll see when we get there. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody help! Huh? Just shut up and hand over your wallet! Come on, people. Seeing this shit makes me sick. Hey! Don't you punks have anything better to do with your lives? Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm me. Oh, perfect timing. You're with PartTimeHero.com, right? Part-time hero? Uh, you lost me. I don't know what your problem is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down! You're going down! <laughs> you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean part-time hero didn't send you? Da -da -da -da! Never fear. Part-time <laughs> hero is here. <laughs> huh? God. So this year's our bad guy, huh? Just look at him. Yep. Got the classic bug tails. My hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Actually, this guy right here, he... Say not another word. For the glory of part-time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post-haste. Now put up your dupes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. Oh, really? Oh. You're 
gonna be in a world of You're in it now. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Check this out. We take your best shot. <laughs> You're no ordinary thug, are you? I'm not a thug at all, man. He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? <laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. How's that make up for anything? I went through two fights just now. Yeah. You know what? You're That's right. Good XP, though, I beg nice. your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please call me Hero. Fun fact. I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Okay, I'll ask again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, <laughs> Parttimehero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your smartphone. It puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is, well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask though, why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well, what really sets us apart? Uh, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting then? Oh. In a way, yes. What you oh, did so just like now, fighting off those thugs, like that was okay. actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works! Makes sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. Oh, I see. This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can, but I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you. At my company, 
and on the streets. You'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? Hmm. All right, sure. sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay, then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh, and I'm Ichiban Kasuka. Kasuga-san. Got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. Okay. I did fine. And that's about it. Now get out there and save the day, hero. Right on. I like where this is going. Could always use some extra cash. And it's nice being called a hero.
This isn't exactly what I pictured. The image I almost had of Yoko, Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy like Chinatown. Shut it, Ichiban. Huh? You moron. Huh? Whoa, what crawled up your asses all of a sudden? Don't ever mention Chinatown around here. Huh? The Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attraction on the other side of the station. The people living here are the ones who got driven out of that area a long time ago. <sighs> so, you're saying there was a tough war in Chinatown? What are they, uh, Okay. Isn't? The truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown was still raking it in while the Chinese living there were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic they felt they deserved to be in, the, in on the action even though they had to take it by force. But, that didn't exactly work out. That grudge has simmered for all those years, and to this day, it's the back home of the Yokohama Liu Meng. Wow. Jeez. The people living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got run out of Chinatown. They lost the world, but they had nowhere else to go. So, talking like a dumbass is gonna make even the Commonwealth good for you, not to mention the Liu, Liu Meng. Okay. Oh, I get it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Just remember, we are on the, we're on the main turf now. Don't let on that we're trying to catch Mabuchi. Thought up with some small talk so no one gets suspicious. Then when you see the opportunity to ask about Mabuchi, go for it. Clear? Got it. Okay. <laughs> wow, this town's so scenic. Scenic? Yeah, the buildings have that old school feel to them. I bet I could get some pretty sweet pigs. Not to be rude, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you start wandering around restaurant row of camera. The bed? You say someone rough may pop up? And by that you wouldn't want you wouldn't happen to mean the Yokohama Liu Meng. Hey, wait! Oh, shit, didn't work. There we go. Hey. Huh. Good evening. My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> huh? Right? Working out every day pays off. And you gotta be tough in my line of work. So, you, uh, work behind the scenes. Uh. Yeah, that's right. But if you're in restaurant row, that would mean you're... Liu... <laughs> I'm a theater stagehand. People think working backstage is easy, but you gotta be pretty fit to do all that heavy lifting. I was gonna guess the Liu Liu Meng. Uh -huh. uh, sorry? This is the uh, Yokohama's Liu Meng's turf, isn't it? Would you happen to know where the boss Babuchi is? Go home, man. Hey, hold on! Yeah. That didn't work either. Let's talk to this boy. Hey! Huh. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, so, which one's better? Bean paste buns or steam buns? Steam buns? Okay, what about steam buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns? <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit peeling, would you choose melon or Liu Mango? Uh, Liu Mango? I mean, you have to heard of the Yokohama Liu Mango, right? Mommy, this man is weird! <sighs> Damn. 
to get Babucci. They wouldn't even talk about the Leo Main. That's just how loyal they are, I guess. <sighs> Don't feel like we're going to get to Mabuchi at this point. Don't throw in the towel yet, man. We've barely even started asking around. Hold on. Well, maybe not the results we wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. Oh, that's a swole guy. Hmm? The Leo Ming? Yeah. No doubt about it. Listen. You might want to get back. Fought back. Why? What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey! Because I'm a woman, it's dangerous? That's how it is? Don't even tell me anyone. Do what you want. Yeah. Are you the Japanese one sniffing around for the Liu Meng? What do you mean? We just wanted some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? <sighs> no. You've got the wrong people. We have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> He's right. We just wanted to find a good spot to get some grub. Well, shall we get back on the hunt? Hey. Come on. Let's just go. They're not gonna let us leave. We may as well drop the act. Hey, why are you snooping around for us? Tell me straight. Okay. Fine. I'm an honest guy, so I'll level with you. The owner of the soap when I was working at got killed. And it sounds like your boss, Mabuchi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> uh, no. At least it saves the, tr it's the trouble of asking around, does it? <sighs> this again. Give me a break. So that's what you're after. Hey. If that's the reaction we're getting, I'd say Mabuchi is looking more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Guys, is this really the time for hey. that? Oh, be quiet. I was ready for this ages ago. You got a man up or what? Scary. Ew. Hey. Call up the guy at Plum Guardian. Tell him to sharpen his knives for his skinny. Once he tear their filthy skins off, use them for manju. Oh, human manju is so creative. It's the way of the Liu Ming to skin our victims alive. <laughs> Don't worry. You bat you black out and forget the plane pretty quickly. <laughs> They'll have a threat. Now come on.
Come on! Who are you? You're gonna be in a world of hurt. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Ah. If you're gonna kill me, get it over with. What? You won't find a single Liu Ming soft enough to give up our brothers because of a little pressure. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit. Yo. Let it out. Damn. Man, not a single one talked. Talk about being faithful. The Yakuza could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah. When people hit rock bottom, loyalty is all you got left sometimes. Hey. Yes, it's all very impressive, but how are we gonna find Mabuchi now? Huh. If they don't even come out in public and won't even talk when we do catch them. Huh. Too bad that's not some scrubby Leo Mank who's not really feeling the gangster thing. We'll, we'll betray them at a drop of a hat. <laughs> I could think of one. Really? <laughs> there is one scrubby Leo Mank who's not into it. Remember? The guy who tried to shake us down? Oh, Zang. That's right. He's a Leo Ming too. Who's Zeng? Friend of yours? Oh, just this asshole who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's greedy as hell. A little cash would probably go a long way. So where do we find this Zeng guy? Mm. I wish I could tell you, but... Oh! There he is. Oh. Uh, th 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 there he is. That shiny scab loser. That's him, all right.
never thought I'd find him this quickly. I still got it. It was a coincidence, man. Come on, can't you let let me have even one thing? Listen. Zang, huh? I don't know, he looked pretty into the job. Don't judge a book by his cup. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packing. What? Whoa, you can tell that just from looking at him from behind. More or less. Why are you getting all flustered? Yo! Uh, let's just go talk to him. Did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Yeah. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Is that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? <laughs> Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. <laughs> Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. 
You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right, but be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Well, Casca's got a point. Let's just wait for her to get in touch. Hey. We might end up having to fight Zhang, so let's be ready for that. Oh, good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the street. Uh, I don't like our odds here. <clears throat> you got anything better? We were broken on a point until a few days ago. I get new shit for everyone if it didn't cost so much damn money. Well, actually... I don't remember hearing about a factory in the red light district with an engineer who's got an eye for that. If we ask him, maybe he'd make us some better stuff. Okay. And it's probably cheaper than just buying new stuff. Hey. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we wait for Psycho then. This is interesting indeed. Who's hungry? Me! Mm. Ah, mm. tasty. Anybody here? Hey, excuse me. You need something? Uh, 
Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. Oh. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. <laughs> Someone's pumped. Almost there. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Whoa. Oh, it's so Yo, shiny, though. That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and to make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Sweet. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumire-chan. Ace the interview. I'm about to start serving customers, so you guys can swing on by when you're ready. I'll make sure you get in if you name drop me. Got it.
しゃいませ。Crap, at least something. I feel like I'm getting called over. Uh, okay. help you with what? Uh, to tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. But I don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? <laughs> uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Here, see for yourself. <laughs> Mm. Right. Well, I'll catch a cold. See ya. Wait, please! Don't you see? I can't get on a train like this. Yo, back off! You're getting bubbles everywhere. How'd you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today I was enjoying my time at a soap land, getting nice and sudsy. This new girl Mika-chan is just so cute. Uh huh. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered, and your grandma's passed out. He tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can grandma's think about boy. is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? Ah, uh, no way. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. Yep. So, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? That's right. There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. What if something happens to my grandma while you're out shopping? <laughs> and if you don't pick out something in my size or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time. You're seriously thinking about style right now? Look, if you're that worried about it, just go to the store yourself. Believe me, I would, but it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? Okay. One puddle, one little splish of water, these bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Well, it's not like you couldn't get arrested right now. Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please. Uh. Hmm. I'll go there. All right, I'll take you. <gasps> really? You're a lifesaver. I just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes, please. Oh. Uh, my name's Awano, by the way. I'm Kasuga. Well, let's get you dressed before you get arrested.
Especially throwing water around, isn't it? Glad we got you out of we glad we got you here without you uh hanging out. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thanks a million, Kasuka san. Be okay. right back. I'm coming, Grandma. Hmm? Hey. Eww, you pervert. Get out of here. Wait, please. Oh like I just need to buy some clothes. We could all. Kaskata, tell them it's all a misunderstanding. <laughs> They're gonna lock me up at this rate. And just when I got to the store. This shit just doesn't end, does it? Hey. Look, about my friend here. He's <laughs> just a pervert. He's just on his way back from a soap plan. Cut the guy some slack, will ya? Soap plan? I don't care what he was and what he was doing. It's no excuse for running around naked. In fact, no, I'm certain this man's a pervert. <clears throat> oh, I got the bear. <sighs> Kosuka san, please don't take your side. Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. He's, uh. Hey. Look, about my friend here. It's a long story. There's a reason the dude's naked. Uh huh. He's dead, yeah. His grandma just passed up. He was in the bath when he got the message and could ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. His grandma passed up? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite one sounds from close, please. He's already made enough of the scene. I'm just trying to help this fool get to the hospital to see his grandma. Okay, I understand. In that case, right this way. Mm. And say something ridiculous with a serious face, people just buy, buy just about anything. Like Tosca son. I was able to get some clothes, man. That's good. Mm -hmm. But now I think about it. That's your paper. Aren't you naked? <laughs> uh, like the clerk saw me crying while I was picking out his clothes and let me put it on a tab. A tab? At a clothing store? So does that. <laughs> I'm forever in your debt. And with that, I'm off to see my okay. grandma. Yeah, get going. <laughs> hmm. Alright, bro. 
way to be greeted <laughs> unbelievable every single girl is sexy as hell I, mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on restaurant row focus guys we gotta find Zhang hi there nice to meet you are you having a nice evening oh yes <laughs> thank you Ni Ni Hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. Oh, well, I could imagine. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sanchon! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! <laughs> well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot! I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh. So you want to go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. I wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? Nah. Because I still regret going easy on you. 
If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers. These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar. Well, it's not Tell them where they stand. Stuff. Throw their bodies into the bay so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! Do you think I'd tell you anything? So uh, you want yeah. me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait, if I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will you? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey, bring the manager in here. I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would mabuchi san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? 
I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but you're Liu Mang. The Yokohama Liu Mang was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are Ni Hao and JJ. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate, too? No. I mean, he was born poor, like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart, so he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. <sighs> wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. Yeah. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Yes, you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey, guys! What if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but... It's the only lead we have right now. 
And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. I like Moving freight is no job for a woman, <laughs> sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. <laughs> Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Yeah, yes, is consent good? is very important. Good on him. <sighs> all right, let's get home. Hey. Doesn't look like they're gonna let us do that. I guess we stood out too much. Yo. We've got to slip through somehow. If we can make it to Romance Street, they'll have to be more careful about any trouble. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, it's funny. <sighs> I think we're safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Ah, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. Hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. 
Thank you. <laughs> that was smooth. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinchu. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. What's wrong, guys? We'll have to hello work, so look alive. Damn, such a new... You're totally fine after drinking all that? Really? That was practically a nightcap. For real? Seriously? Wow, you guys are pathetic. Who was the one saying he'd give it his best shot? Hey, yeah. So get in gear. We're, head We're heading to hello work. Uh, sure. <sighs> I've never met a woman who holds her liquor like she can. I had a compliment coming from you. Oh, it's one of those hero things, okay. Is that a lobster? Wait a minute. Hmm? What's that thing? Oh, it's a crawfish. What's it doing out here? You crawl up out of the river? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Mon voyage, little buddy! No! Oh, my sweet Nancy! Huh? Oh, my poor girl! I don't see her anywhere at all. Crap, don't tell me. That crawfish just now was yours? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Her name's Nancy. <laughs> Normally, we stroll around the neighborhood together and get us some exercise. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope in this dark, cruel world. <laughs> this guy just keeps a, a lobster, a crawfish. Damn. Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Besides, it's my fault for taking my eyes off her. Well, I don't see her anywhere. Unfortunate as it is, she's probably gone for good. But don't dwell too much on it. I'm just another nobody. The crawfish must have been worth her. Didn't give it a name. Hold on there, old timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. They'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? Why, well, that's certainly generous of you. But can you really find her? Well, I can give it a shot. Gee, thanks. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, and I'm Ebihara. I call these streets my home. If you do get hold of Nancy, could you come find me along Sakura River Street? That's my usual spot. Of course. And I'm Kasuga. I'll be back with Nancy in no time. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X-shaped scar on her back. An X-shape on her back. Uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, 
Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky, I'll find her downstream. garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Ah, uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. stop here for today. Seems like a good place to stop. So yeah, um, if you enjoy what I do, make sure to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as check out the Funny Crew channel. I do more stuff over there. But yeah, in any case though, um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next episode.